this is a video hint on how to design um, excuse me how to derive a circuit with a finite input impedance um, over here on the left we have a model of a inverting uh, uh, excuse me a buffer where the output is fed back into the input but what's different is is that we're modeling the finite input impedances of the differential and the um, input impedance minus and plus over here. Over here, what you would consider it is an ideal op amp. And then we just add in the non-idealities over here. So let's um, kind of go through the derivation of this. Well, if this is ideal, that means it can source any any current that it would like and this, even though it looks like it's on the input, is really could just be considered a load. All right. Then what we would have is this feedback loop. And again, if it can source any current, it it doesn't the output voltage doesn't matter. And in a sense, this can be looked at as a um, as a load as well. But if we intuitively derive it and say this is a, a buffer, that means V plus and V minus are in fact the same, that means no current would flow through this resistor. And as long as the open loop gain is, is large, um, even if there is a slight microvolt difference between these two, that would make the current here quite small. So if the current is really small going through a device compared to other things, we can just remove it. Well, now we're left with this circuit. This load doesn't really matter. And what we have here is this RN originally, which if we connect up a, another circuit over here, we would just get voltage division. Now you could formally say that in your report, but that's how to get going and and you know hopefully you don't get stuck